Normally I keep these videos that I do really short because I know that you are busy and have got other things to do. But having said that, today I wanted to share something that happened to me this week, how an unexpected booking and an interview with Joseph Breed, the best-selling author of Broken Like Me, and the movie The Pursuit of Happiness with Will Smith and his gorgeous son, and a TED talk about grit made a huge impact on me and on my week. If you're too busy to watch all of this, that is absolutely fine. The most important thing that I want to impress upon you is to listen to this week's episode of Tiara's Tears and Triumphs podcast where I have an amazing conversation with Joseph Reed, who is the author of the bestseller, Broken Like Me. So that is the priority. But if you have time and if you want to get to know me a bit better on a really human level, then please just take a few minutes to watch the rest of this video. I was feeling really down and disheartened this week, questioning whether what I was doing was just a poor use of my time because I am not sure it is making the difference that I had hoped it would be making to anybody's life. But then there is that one person who clicks on a link and that is what keeps me pouring my heart and my soul into the Tiara's Tears and Triumphs podcast and all the other work that I do. And I'll explain why this is enough a bit later. First, I want you to know that although I am a life coach and a healer, I am just as human as the next person and I am just as fragile, just as vulnerable and very much on my own recovery and discovery path. The interview that I did this week could not have come at a better time for me because only hours before I was scheduled to do the interview with Joseph Reed, author of the best-selling book, Broken Like Me, I had a breakdown. I was in tears, just feeling like giving up on my mission to help women heal, recover and rebuild their lives by teaching them how to become empowered. Why? because the marks of my success were not evident to me. All I could see was a whole lot of striving being met with little engagement. So all I could see was that I wasn't where I had anticipated that I would be. And I asked myself, was life just a series of hurdles that I had to jump over without seeing my efforts being rewarded with success? I don't often fall down so hard. I consider myself to be a really tenacious kind of person, someone who keeps going even when things are challenging. But like I said, I am just as human as the next person and this day was one of those days where I questioned the validity of what I was doing and even questioned my own worth. They say for every breakdown that there is a breakthrough and thankfully this certainly was the case for me this week. Even though the last thing I felt like doing that morning was doing an interview with someone I did not know, I pushed myself through with one of my own teaching methods, which is to be disciplined 
with yourself and do the thing that you have committed to do, even when you feel like putting it off or not doing it at all. And I'm so glad that I did. I believe that my breakdown came at precisely the right time because the conversation that I had with Joseph Reed was all about feeling broken. So in my brokenness, I was able to have a truly empathetic conversation about what brokenness is like and how we can all be mended with the right support and the right connections. The breakthroughs that came through for me after I let the way I was feeling rise to the surface looked nothing short of miraculous, but were in complete alignment with what I teach. When I let the truth of what I was feeling out, I was able to process those emotions and let them go. When I stopped trying to do it all on my own, God came in and clear signs I was on the right path started falling into my lap one after another for the first few for the for the last few years rather i've been looking at ways to make our little airbnb studio apartment accommodation a place for women to transition from being displaced after leaving a relationship for that time that they need to get themselves into permanent accommodation. And this week, we got our first booking from such a woman who had been locked out of her home by her husband in their separation. Did she know our accommodation was perfect for her needs when making her booking? No. Now, on the same day, I found out about an organisation that assists women with finding transitional accommodation who I have contacted since to see if we can be connected to assist more women who are displaced. This information was discovered on the very same day as this woman needing transitional accommodation arrived at our accommodation. These were two clear signs to me that I was stepping in the right direction. Next came some reminders to inspire me to keep going through the tough times. And I want to share these with you now. The movie we chose to watch for family movie night was The Pursuit of Happiness, which is a wonderfully inspiring movie about persevering to pursue your goal and giving it your all. If you haven't seen it, I recommend you watch it. And then I stumbled on a great TED talk about the essential ingredient to success, which is grit. Now, these two things served as reminders that people who succeed in life are the people who are prepared to keep taking the next step in the direction of their dreams, their goals, and their aspirations. I wanted to share this with you because I thought it might help you if I gave you just a glimpse into what is going on in the background of my life, just to relate, to see that maybe I'm just like you. And I know that I said that I will fill you in on why one person is all I need to give me the validation to keep going with what I'm doing. 
And that is because you matter. My guest, Joseph Reed, reminded me that we do what we do in trying to help each other by making that connection with just one person. So if something I am doing with the podcast, Tiara's Tears and Triumphs, and with the other things that I am doing is helping you, then I am happy, I am fulfilled and rewarded in what I do. So I hope that you take away whatever you need from the things that I've said to help you heal your life. If you are in an abusive relationship, please seek support. And if you are feeling hopeless and despairing, please seek support too. My aim is to help you to rise up in your life and shine your very brightest. Okay, sending you lots of love.